Welcome or welcome back, Cyber Explorers. It's Alfie, and in this video we'll explore together with this step-by-step -step guide, how to delete a swap file in Linux systems. So without further ado, let's get right into it. To check if you have a swap file or swap partition, type and hit enter. This command shows all the swap spaces currently in use, indicating whether they are swap partitions or swap files. As you can see, the type will show if you have a swap partition or swap file. I have 6 GB of swap space, and it's on a swap file. If it were a swap partition, the type would have been partition instead of file. If you don't need a swap file or need to increase the swap file size, you can disable an already active swap file on the system using the following command. and hit enter. This command disables the specified swap file, or you can disable all swap spaces on your system using and hit enter. This command disables all swap spaces on your system, including both swap partitions and swap files. You can create a new, larger swap file using the previous video, or disable it permanently by removing the entry from the fs tab file. Type and hit enter. This command opens the fs tab file in the nano text editor, then remove the following line at the end of the file, or comment it out by adding a number sign at the beginning of the line, save and close the file. If you are using nano, you can save, and exit by pressing ctrl, plus x, then y, and then enter. Finally, you can remove the file to free up space, type, and hit enter. This command removes the swap file from your system. To verify that the swap file has been removed, type and hit enter. This command shows the current swap spaces, confirming that the swap file is no longer active, and type and hit enter. This command displays the amount of free and used memory in the system, including swap space. Note. If you don't have swap space on your system, the free command will show zeros beside the swap, and the swap on command won't show any output. And that's it. You've successfully deleted a swap file on your Linux system. And that's it for today. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and don't forget to activate the notification bell so you won't miss out on any new uploads. Thank you for watching, and I can't wait to share more with you. So, until next time, see you later.